and he sort of breezed through so far in the three matches he's played. He's only actually lost one frame. He did beat Anthony McGill 4-0 this morning. So he's been a little bit below the radar, but he's been playing off. Judd Trump, of course, has been camped out here on table one, as he should be, the winner of the last two. And, of course, he's got a great record here in this tournament, hasn't he? He won the Northern Ireland Open three times between 2018 and 2020, beating Ronnie O'Sullivan in all three finals. But as we saw, Joe, with Sean Murphy, anyone can have an off day. Yeah, and I, I, well, I think he needed a rest. So I suppose Judd Trump <coughs> hopefully grabbed an hour or so, shot out. There you go. It's a little bit of tattooing for you. The ace in the pack. <laughs> so I think it's clear who she's supporting. A big shot this already. Taking them on early. Says he's feeling pretty confident. This was a very big shot early on in the game. Yes, Nopan has beaten him. But it was Trump who won the last encounter. Yeah, great shot. Great action on the cue ball as well. And that's not a bad kiss. Wow, oh, great screw shots. So not only Trump can play it. If you've got ranking points for politeness, I think Nopin Senghan will be world number one. He's such a nice guy, but obviously that all has to be put to one side out in the arena. Terrific player as well. And uh, last couple of years, he has been going deep. A couple of semi-finals he was in last season, though, he just didn't really perform. Mark Allen beat him heavily, firstly at the British Open. Six. And then later in the season, again, in the World Grand Prix, semi-finals, both 6-1. But in that World Grand Prix, to get to the semis... How about this for a trio of scalps? Mark Selby, Ronnie O'Sullivan and Mark Williams. So it suggests he doesn't fear playing the top players. Yeah, maybe he enjoys it. Brings the best out in him. Ooh, very fortunate not to have opened the back of reds, which is what he intended. It wasn't come, six. Yeah, it's, I think all about his uh, concentration tonight. But Judd Trump has got great experience, of course. And now he's on the winning run. He wants it to continue. You're never quite sure how long these runs will continue, but what an extraordinary few weeks it's been. Remember, he was 7-3 down to Zhang Andrew in the final in Brent. Well, he was 5-2 down to John Higgins in the semi-finals. Found a way in both matches. And then flew out to Wuhan. Arrived the night before, he had to play two matches to catch up. And, uh, well, it was just superb all week and fought through quite a tough final with Ali Carter. Well... 
Just a little fortunate there because that red closest to the left corner could have easily been on. Didn't intend to kiss the blue. I just wonder if this red will go to the right corner, the one at the back of the pack there. It's going to avoid that red near the left side cushion. It's not a, an inviting table at the moment. That can all change though. Pink's tied up for the moment, but one good shot into the pack of reds. Hey, yeah, found a plant. One. Had a look at it. Had to go in. Look where the cue ball was. Blue ball. Blue is not easy. It's made more difficult by the yellow beam where it is. Yeah, good shot. Had to put a lot of action into the cue ball there. Well, this is impressive, and I think this is what you have to do against top players. You have to show them, you know, that you're going to take them on, that you fancy that you can beat them, rather than coming out in your shell and hesitant. He's one of those players, he's quite high on that list. I mean, Jack Lazowski is probably, he's, he will be top of it. He's just won, of course, players, best players around at the moment, not to win a ranking event. I would say Nopin Senkan would be quite high on that. We've seen his cue power, oh. but he needs another good shot here. This needs good cue power. Yeah, nicely played. Just short of being the right side okay. of the blue, but there is a red near the left corner. If he just drops it in dead weight. Hard work at the moment, obviously, with the pink and black, not great. He also hasn't played on this table yet, so he's just working out the speed of it. 19. Now, he could decide to bring the pink into play here. You'd expect him to be on a red. Plenty of loose reds there. There you go, Joe, you like a nice pair of shoes. <laughs> yeah, they are nice, aren't they? Got to be careful of you. You kick with those kind of shoes on. Well, I think he attempted to hit the pink. It would have been a lot easier if he had. So I've still got to concentrate on the blue. the kiss but it's still a nice angle this to be able to just drop the blue in come down for that red to the left of the pink D 
didn't quite hit it hard enough. He might finish up being snookered. Well, he is on the red he played for. 14. I thought he would have just dropped it in and come down the left side of the table rather than screwing it in. The yellow wasn't in the way. Thirty-six is a good lead, though, the way the balls are situated. Oh, that's a beauty. Great shot with the rest. This break has been hard work. He's the wrong side of the blue again. Yeah, quite a bit of shoe leather has actually gone into this break, hasn't it? With the big colours not available, so relying on the blue, but he's still going. 36. Another good recovery. And now it comes to the stage where does he want to bring the pink into play? I'm not so sure he does, you know, just pick these reds off. All about choice. One day, I'll get on the right side of that blue. I think he might just have a slight angle. The thing is, sometimes players will sort of aim to go, you know, the, the right side of high, but because they've got the bulk colours to go at, okay. but that doesn't apply here. So that's made it more complicated, but he's still going. And if he can pot another red and a blue, Judd Trump will need a snooker. Another important rest shot here. Not to be. Good lead. Yeah, he tried to make sure of that red, didn't he? He was on the blue, that's all he needed, as David said. I fancied him for that because he'd potted some more difficult ones than that one with the rest. Now, well, chance to bring the pink into play straight away here. Not forced to be on the red, though. If he does. Thanks. Seven. Just about got there. I could play the cannon to the red and the pink here off the cushion. Try to bring that red into play by the black. Twelve. Well, he could bring the red and black into play here. He doesn't have to send the white ball all the way down the table just to bring the black into play. Just play the red to the cushion. Something like that. Got to go on 12. He needs that black in play.
Yeah, that's very close. Good shot. Got any closer? Just needs to try and hit higher up the cushion on the left hand side. But he doesn't want to come the far side of the red, otherwise, it's game over. Alex Crisan is the referee. It's only a fraction, but it makes a difference because he could cue it before, mm. and now I think now it's more or less right. Exactly, he, he would know exactly where it was from where he was cueing. Yes, excellent, not least because he didn't have that many points to play with. Can he be tempted by the red to the corner? Just needs the red. I think it's worthwhile taking it on because he can't leave anything except the red is playing. So close. <laughs> oh, it's got half a chance of getting the cue ball in behind the green and brown. It's not far away. Dave Gilbert is turning up on Rory McLeod. The winner there plays Barry Hawkins. And uh, Joe Perry and Steve Maguire still in their first frame. Well, Joe Perry actually gonna, has just taken that frame. So 1-0 to the gentleman. Finished off with two centuries back-to-back -back earlier on to be the same for Faye. Yeah, I think there might just be a little bit sticking out. Yep, there's confirmation. So. Okay. He's got to hit this hard enough to bounce the red off the cushion and send it safe. Yeah, and well, it's a pretty good shot actually. He's covered the red over the right side of the table. <coughs> oh, 
Well, there's some good shots coming out here from both layers. Yeah, it's a sort of frame. If Senkam doesn't win it, he slightly fit because he's been in control of it for a long time. Or seem to be. Well, that helps. <laughs> frame ball red. Cue ball stays out. Raise of the hand. Snooker's needed. Break when he was in initially 48 because he only really had the blue to work off. And I guess if you're going to be playing the informed player, a little bit of luck will help also if it goes your way. Would have liked that in. It's two snookers required. Once come three. Well, that's one of them. Not too difficult to hit, but we've seen the mist. I've got to remember about the free ball. Can't see him playing this at speed. I'll wait for it. Free ball, oh. is it? I think it is, you know. Four. Is it? Is it? Free ball. Free ball. I said, remember about the free ball. That's the first thing that you should think of. So Trump can win now. Free ball. Black counts as a red. Black to follow so he can win this frame. And this is going to be a body blow if he can land it, to say the least. One. Uh, he must be in bits at the moment. Eight. Chance the blue to open the red front. Yeah, wasn't forced to work, work out. I think the reason okay. he's chose the blue is because if it had missed the red with the black, he would have been snookered. If it had missed the pink there with the white, at least he would have been able to play the red. But he's got, again, he's got half a chance of getting the cue ball in behind the green and brown here and bringing the black into play. Again, it's not far away this. Yeah, well played, and the black's in play now. Yeah, and already his focus looks good, you know, just seeing that shot and executing it. He already kind of looks a bit more with it than maybe he did this afternoon when he did sort of struggle through, certainly not in top gear. And I expected him for, his, for him to four. miss that off one cushion. Okay. 
not difficult to hit this at all. I can only assume it was trying to hit the red thin. This could be good. Oh, we've just run past and left an easy red for Trump. Yeah, it could have been good, but it's actually bad. And these are just the little rolls and the little, you know, bits of running that sometimes go your way, sometimes don't. But you feel the snooker gods are having their say. You know, he left the free ball. You're not going to get the, the flute snooker. Yellow would be okay, two yellows. Failing that, the blue around the angles. Got to be careful of the in off in the middle. This is going to hurt Nopon if he should lose it. Although he didn't play that so well. May have to go all the way around the table here. Gotta miss the pink and blue if that's what he's thinking. Enough into the cue ball. Eleven. So knock on lives again. Yeah, quite a lengthy frame, but it already feels, even though it's only frame one, like a big one. Just the way it's panned out. Yeah, there's lots of things that he wants to play here. Trying to get in behind the black, but you've got to get that brown safe. He's played in behind the black, but the cue ball, oh. that's a disaster. Shut down to 11. Caught it much too thin. Oh, amazing, you know, when he was on the yellow, he looked a certainty to win this frame, but just lost ideal position. And now this has happened. So Nopin Senkom needs the brown. After all that, he must have thought the frame had gone. He left the free ball, left the, the last red to the right centre as well. Relief. Four. Five. 
What's it come for? 24 in it, so Trump could pop the blue one to tie on the pink. And the black, not in a bad spot actually. Five. And got a chance here of getting in behind the black. Five. Pink goes in and Nopin Senkarm will be very relieved. He made that good break earlier on and then a couple of times he looked like he would lose the frame. Trump couldn't close it out. So the tie leads 1-0. Minutes eventually went to Nopin Senkarm here Mr. against Chad Trump, Trump who has been on this uh, great run, but will it continue into the quarterfinals in Belfast? It's one all now between Joe Perry and Stephen Maguire. Maguire's won the second frame there. Dave Gilbert still 2 0 up against Rory McLeod. Already into the quarterfinals, Ricky Walden will play Jack Lazowski, Chris Wakelin will play Yuan Si Jun, Barry Hawkins is also through. He plays either Gilbert or McLeod. The winner of this match plays Perry or Maguire. Yeah, I think he's bounced just a little too far. I think. This red will cut to the left corner. And in the last frame, I think the turning point really was when Trump had the yellow and finished the wrong side of the green. From there, he lost the frame. On. And that's OK. Blue to the right corner. Choice of reds. I want to get the black into play as soon as possible. It does go to both pockets. Just overrun his position. I'm not sure if he can get to the black from that. Six. Seven. I don't think he's strength enough on this red to get to the black. He may be able to to get there off the cushion. He would have liked to have been able to get to the black and then play a little cannon to those two reds. Thank you. 13. Fourteen. So you could see the red by the pink spot would go to the left corner. He certainly scored heavily this season, 34 centuries already. To put that into context, only eight players, himself included, made more than that the whole of last season. Now we're still in October. Andy. He's got there. Could have done with being just a little bit straighter. But he should be able to be on one of these two reds. Yeah, he made 45 last season, so he's only 11 off that already. 27. Now, into the pack. 
doesn't need to hit them hard, just develop them, stay on that loose red. Perfectly played. Five. May have to go up for the blue, but he might be able to play for the black or pink. Needs to slow down. Just held up. 36. <laughs> he was worried. I like the way he played that shot. He gave himself choice of three reds there. He's taking this red to the right corner, but he had choice of others. 43. And this is what he likes to do. Just work the table, nudge in there. 50. Everything's there for the taking now. This is all about concentration. Keep hold of that cue ball. And take care. You've got to take care. Even though they're easy shots, you've got to take care. The thing is, he's not looking for anything now. He's found it, hasn't he? You know, he went 19 okay. months without winning a ranking event. But suddenly, like London buses, <laughs> two have come at once. So, you know, he's just in a good place. There's no question marks about his game. 59. Still another couple of reds needed. Colour. Not on these in snookers, but could do with another red. We've seen what happens with just a couple of snookers. Yeah, apart from anything else, he can put another 20 minutes on the frame. Well, I'm surprised he took the yellow there. If he takes the blue, not on need snookers at the moment, he can tie now. Right? Surprised at that shot. Yeah, so not on, can still tie the frame. Red off the cushion means everything's available. He could go for this one and leave the cushion. No way to get to the black. Well, he did make a 40 break, actually, against uh, Ian Burns this afternoon, so he's already improved on that, but he didn't kill the frame off. If he'd have potted the blue, he'd have been 70 in front with 67 on. Thank you. 
can he see enough of this red to the right corner? <laughs> That's the answer. No, you can't. Well, that was one way, and that's not too bad. The red, even if it passes the yellow, I don't think you can get to the black. Covering the red, if he has covered the red, I think he has. to one pocket. This red to the right corner, no good to knock on. Can't, well, he can't see it anyway. No good, good pot in it if he can't get to the black. So he wasn't too concerned about leaving that red on, Trump. Brilliant shot, brilliant shot, and every chance of tying the frame here. What a shot this was, digging down into the cue ball and controlling that cue ball. Coming around the two cushions perfectly. And where will the black go when he pots it? It could be tied up. It is, and that's very unfortunate. What a shot that was. He's got the angle there to try and develop the black, actually, but he's got to finish on it if he takes it on. Yep, he could play for it to the middle. Nine. Couldn't have landed any better, especially if he can give that red a little nudge next to it.
Yeah, good shot, and he's moved the red. Wow. Every chance here. Well, surely now Judd Trump must be thinking, 16. why don't I just pop the blue? When he was 65 in front, he would have put him 70 in front with 67 on. Oh, you say the Maybe they don't. Remember, he can okay. tie the frame. Blacks with the reds and the be a respot. You can't hold for the red. I think he can just about manage it. Not ideal. But if it goes in, he's on the black. 32. Anxious moment. This has got to be hit, but he's also got to think about where the cue ball's going to be if he misses it. He doesn't want to leave the red on. So it's not just a question of trying to hit the red. He's got to try and hit the red, but leave the white safe. I'm not sure if he can play in and out of bulk, just come past the yellow. That would be an option for me. give it plenty of thought and it looks like he's going to try and leave that cue ball on the bought cushion if he misses it but he didn't miss it and that's a hit up on now still needs the black to tie This shouldn't, shouldn't be too hard to hit. in charge of the safety battle at the moment up on team camp this looks good yeah that's a very very good shot every chance of the free ball here if he misses Cushion escape. Well, 
had to leave oh, a free nice. ball there if you missed it. Free ball. Wants to come four. So maybe the green will come to save Trump. It's not too difficult, though, the green. Well, he's in the position Trump was in in the last frame. He got a free ball and had the chance to make the clearance. Didn't quite happen. He looked pretty cool overall this evening. Six. Well, maybe Trump's learned an important lesson tonight. He had a chance to leave his opponent needing snookers. And a pot in the blue. Seven. So, big shot coming up. Needs to be on the yellow to get to the green. And that's okay. Doesn't want to be dead on the cushion with the green. 13. It's gone as bad as it could. 15. It's pretty straight on the green. Not sure exactly, but if it's not straight, he'd have to really thump it in. Doesn't want the kiss. He's got to pop this and coming in out of bark now. It's never easy, is it? Trump lives again. Although he has got away with the pot, Trump should be delighted. Chance of the snooker here.
it's this time it's up on Sam Kant who had the chance, finished straight on the green. That makes things a little bit more difficult, pushing the black to the cushion, or near the cushion. Tell you if he gets the white ball in behind the black, it's going to be some snooker. Well, not quite full ball snooker. Looks like it's swervable. of the double. I said earlier that if you don't put the frame away, you can add 20 minutes to it, which is basically what happened here. But it's over now. After all that, Judd Trump did win it. Nopin Sengam had his chance, went wrong on the brown, attempting the clearance. So an hour in, we're level at one all. Here, the last Thank match you. of the day on table one I'm in the last 16 the of the Northern Ireland Open. Judd Trump has levelled up with Nop and Sinkarm. It took longer than maybe he wanted it to, but having said that, he could have lost the frame. Sinkarm did get the chance after the free ball. Yeah, into the second hour, and we only had two frames. certainly opened things up. Very nearly brought that red over the middle. In fact, it may be cuttable. Now, this was the last frame. He's 65 in front at this point. The blue would have made it 70 with 67 on. Chose to take the yellow. Didn't get great on the next red, though, which he did miss. And then that started all the trouble. Nervous energy, that's what that was. 20 minutes of it. For Very close. His safety's been excellent this evening, Nopons. 
Played the pot there, but also played the cue ball in case. Wonderful. He dug that one out beautifully. Deserved to be on something. He, well, he might be on the green, actually. It's an easy snooker. But if he's got the angle on the green... No, nope, just a snooker. Keep your man under pressure. Just quickly, Steve Maguire, 2-1 over Joe Perry. So he's won the last two. It's still 3-0 to Dave Gilbert against Rory McLeod. Of course, tomorrow we'll have intervals when we go to best of nine. <coughs> Ideally, the red behind the black spot the one closest to the black cushion would be the one for me. And I'd try in and out of bulk. <coughs> Trying it about six inches down from the middle pocket. And that looks, for me, the safest option. He's seen something different, though. As long as he doesn't leave a red on, every option is the right one. Couldn't have played it any better. Excellent escape. Well, I say that, but he's left a red on. So I, I can't understand why he would play that red. One. I think now he's just greedy. He was playing for the black. He could have played up for the yellow from there. One. Does seem just looking at the lineup we've already got experience is starting to tell a little bit. We've got ranking event winners through Ricky Walden, Chris Wakely, Barry Hawkins. Whoever comes through between Perry and Maguire, they've won a tournament. Gilbert, he's three 0 up, he's won a tournament. So as it stands, only Lazowski and Wansi Jun, unless of course Nopin Sengom can get through as well be looking for their first ranking title. Yeah, his safety's been very good tonight, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Although there is a long red to the right corner here. If he can dodge the reds in taking it on, and that, well, don't think he can. So very risky to play it. He can play the safety from this red is addressing. Another very good safety. Table there from Senka.
He's thinking of taking it on. It's very risky. It's a very thin cutback. Very important to get that cue ball close to the cushion. Always difficult to catch these safety shots correctly. So easy to catch them thick or thin. If he catches it thick, there's a red waiting over the middle. I think what's impressive is he's prepared to really dig in Trump. You know, you think everything he's won lately would he be absolutely 100%? But he is, because he wants more. He enjoyed those two seasons, obviously, when first he won five ranking titles, then six. Pretty unprecedented stuff. And who knows? He could win even more this season. He's already got two on the mantelpiece. Well, as you say, he's fighting. He really is fighting, because Senkam's putting him in trouble. It's trouble here again. Going to catch this one right. To avoid the pocket. Oh, and there's, there's the mistake, and it's come from Trump. He's pushed the black a little safer. Well, I say that, but the black's out in the open. <laughs> This is a really good chance now to lap on. Nicely played, right in the middle. Played down for one of the ball colours. Just in case they missed it. And what a chance. He's fought hard for this chance. He forced the mistake from Trump. Yeah, this is turning into a tough Five. evening for Trump. But having put all the hard work into earning the chance, can he now take it? He made that 48 break in the first. It didn't sound much, but black and pink were out of commission. So it was a good break. Oh. Oh, would you believe it? One shot. Well, is it cuttable, this black? It could be. He's looking at it. Yep, well played. Thirteen. Well, Steve McGuire has gone three one up against Joe Perry. It seems like a long time since we've seen Stephen on our screens, but we may tomorrow against the winner of this match. He needs one more. Dave Gilbert, the 4 0 win over Rory McLeod on table three. He'll play Barry Hawkins if he does come through. Fourteen. Very good with the rest. I think these days you've got to be basically good in every area, haven't you? You know, you can't really afford any weaknesses because they'll be pounced on. He really does seem up for this this evening. Not on Sand Camp. Twenty one.
Well, Gilbert looks like he's over the line next door. So he'll be playing the Hawk. You can hear the applause. I call him the angry farmer, but he might be in a good mood come Sunday if he's holding the trophy. as he wanted to be on the black. So I've got to put all his concentration into the pot. He's striking the ball. Again, that was a delicate little screw shot to find the gap there to leave himself nicely on these three reds to the right corner. He won a very dramatic match to reach the Crucible, to say the least. 10-9 on the black against Yang Ander, it was. That was to get through to the televised phase where Jack Lazowski beat him, but it was an extraordinary finish. Which suggests, you know, under pressure he's good. Although, of course, he was unable in the end to make that clearance in the second frame. But this is good so far. Cool. He's one of these players who he looks calm, you know, he doesn't betray much while he's at the table. We don't know how he's feeling, but he has that air of serenity. So getting closer, black, and then another red and colour. We're at that stage again, but we've seen already tonight, you've got to nail these frames. I like the way he plays that shot. He just played one a moment ago, very similar. And it's a delicate little shot. You've got to play it with a lot of bottom. And slow. Well, this is the ball that gets us to the snooker's required stage, but he wants another red to avoid what we've already seen tonight, which is a lot of anxiety. Yeah, it all came from a, a poor safety from Judd Trump. And this was it. He was trying to catch the reds thin. Very nearly went in off. In fact, he would have preferred to have gone in off. And that makes absolutely sure. Yeah, very good break this. Very sort of studiously compiled, being focused on every shot. And it's a nice turn to get his biggest break of the evening. Well, it can go either one or two ways. This Trump can get inspired by Sankam and go for his shots and try and win the frame at one visit. I tried to do that in the second frame when he made the 67 break and then failed to play the blue. Well, 
Oh, it's another wonderful positional shot that from Napon. Couldn't have judged that any better. Seventy-eight. A little nod of the head because he's just lost the cue ball. He may have to go in and out of balk. Nice line. Eighty-five. Well, the break ends at eighty-five. It was a fine break as well from Nopin Senkar. He played good safety to force the. Out the last 
Later at the World Championship, so you can think all over that. And that's the Nick Hutch on tour, the Women's World Champion. This is an easy one, this is Lynn Cohen. from the back, but I don't think he's got an option here. Nick Brown, how do you like that one? Well, so far. Mine's on, expected to get one. This has been the result. There's a pink in the middle, surely means it's got to hit back. Well, it really matter, he's done the business. Will it be Nuffy Tinkong who will end that run? Players played this way. Tinker gone for his shots, being brave, going for his shots. Could win, and but obviously he's undoubtedly the tenth of the series champion. But he's not just doing it; he's not just playing this well. He's doing it against someone like Trump. Um, it's been a wonderful break. Yeah. At this stage of the match, to be taking these kind of reds on. He's got a shot as well. And one can hit the blue. Wow. Well, would you believe it? But he's had a bit of. to the middle. We've got straight on this red behind the pink. Well, that could be his last shot. And there's the miss. Yeah, you can see all kinds of obstacles here. Intended. Uh, 
have made it through to the quarterfinals. 4-3 over Joe Perry. No scoring from. I just don't know how to do it, Matt. Keep trying to ping pong around. Long distance tonight. Well, he didn't want to bring the luck into play. It's quite a stretch. Yeah, good pops. It's been an epic battle, 39 minutes this round. High quality snooker. Here he goes. Judge Tom clearly loves winning. He won the last two tournaments. There's room on the mantelpiece for another trophy. First three, he's got to put himself in the quarterfinals. And he's absolutely. Still here. So close, but it was. Take it. And the ledge goes out. Where's the red finish now? Trophy. He wanted to leave at the end of the week Nine. with a trophy in the boot. Much as he normally would, but in terms of matches, he's pin sharp. And building the lead. And in. From the bottom of the pack to the right of the pink. That's the one. Side cushion fading in with the big lead he's got. He needs the pressure back. Time is running out as to whether he'll get another one. And he's played so well in this match. Well, the red is effectively match four for Judge Trump. Who's going to beat this guy? But this is going to be 17 victories in a row in ranking event matches. Judge Trump has not lost. That winning feeling. And experienced player Steve Maguire awaits. But we've seen, as I say, just how hard it is to beat him right now. <laughs> look at this little shot. Yeah, they love it, don't they? You just have to look at the faces. 
They love it. So I can bring the reds into play. <laughs> and it's finished up absolutely perfect on the blue. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the highlights. So if you really enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And also subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.